All right, I'm always excited, and I'm even more excited about telling you some of the gear that I use, some of the gear that all of us should be using. So what do these things do? Welcome back, fishing champs. Mr. Poseidon here. For those of you guys that do not know me, about my channel, I do surf fishing videos, mainly striped bass. Talk about the products I like, such as today, and we live stream every Sunday, Let's Talk Fishing, at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Can't miss me, Mr. Poseidon, only on YouTube. Okay, guys, so we're gonna talk about some of the products that I like, and being a surf fisherman, you need caulkers, guys. What are caulkers? Boom, that's a caulker right there. The spikes. You can put these on yourself with a regular little channel lock, adjustable wrench, twist them on and put them on. And also for you guys to know, when the caulkers come, when you buy them brand new, you must, you must tighten these. Nice little spikes here on the bottom, as you can see. Look at the spikes. You should also be wearing these whenever you're in dangerous conditions. And what do I mean by dangerous conditions? Rock. As you can see, there are tons of rocks everywhere everywhere in the water out the water everywhere you look you are on rocks jetties all right guys trying a little jetty action and you know that the corkers are on that's right don't you get on these jetties without corkers guys you're risking it get the corkers on guys let's go anywhere where you're gonna go out in the water you jump up on the rock you don't just do it with regular shoes or boots or what you think, what you think is good. You have to use the proper uh, tools to get the job done correctly, which is eventually catch the fish, same time, stay safe. These babies grip, they grip. These are the sandals to have. Again, corkers is a must. Why do we need them? Do they work? I'm going to tell you everything and even show you old versus new. So let's start off right now. You can see I got the pair right here. I'll put the overhead view on for you guys, make it a little easier. So these are basically your corkers, guys. These are the sandal corkers. And you can see on the bottom, they have the uh, spikes on them. That's the carbide spikes. And uh, these are the older uh, corkers. So these were pop-ons. These would come off and come on and what do they look like i'll show you what they look like all right so there it is that's the point and that's the side that you would push through you would push through i'm going to show you the hole you would push through and then that would remain on top which was your carbide tip this is an older one as you can see so basically what you would do here is you would see these holes here and you could put them wherever you felt you wanted them and you would take this and you would somehow squeeze this through that tiny little hole, guys. This was like unbelievable to fit this thing through there. So I tried all kinds of tools, YouTube and it. In the end, I had to use Vaseline and a vice script and I was able to actually push it through. But the problem was it took so long just to do one trial and error, trial and error. It was pretty much annoying. I went through about four of these pairs in my years of surf fishing and uh, they work every single time if you wear them correctly and change the spikes uh, when you know regularly you shouldn't have a problem they last they're good it was just very tough to uh, put the old spikes on the old corkers so what I did was I went shopping and what I got there it is guys so I went out and I bought the brand new corkers as you could see Pretty much, they don't have any difference from the older corkers. Same on top, everything is great, but the great part about these was this, guys. This was the most ingenious part of all. The actual carbide uh, bit, and you have a washer, and that comes in the corker package here. I'll show you that. It's the carbide spike replacement kit. As you can see here, uh, just like that, I took some out already to show you guys. So basically, you have the uh, carbide tip and a washer, and you would put the washer down first and the carbide tip right on top of it. So 
Very simple. This has a groove in it. I don't know how close you can see that on camera. I'll bring it up as close as I can. So it's got a groove in there. And you would lay this right in there. Look, look how easy that is. And it goes in a groove. Now you can't, look, I can't budge this in or out. So it stays in the groove. Very simple. I mean, anybody could do super simple stuff. Corka made it right this time. Man, you guys slaughtered me before, Corka. Putting in those old tabs with a vice grip was ridiculous. So anyway, I'm going to tell you guys how to tighten these. Everybody knows how to tighten them. I like using an adjustable wrench. You can use an open-end wrench. You can use a socket. You turn it until you feel like the rubber itself is starting to move. And once it gets to that point, I think it's enough. Nice, tight, it's in the slot, it's ready to go. Fastened beautifully. So let's do this one now on a quicker note. So we go and we put it in the groove like I told you guys earlier, it goes right in the groove. Look at that, beautiful. Look, I'll show you even up close. See the groove in there? And you lay it right on top, right in the groove there. Ooh, what a beauty. Then you'll take the carbide uh, tip again Let's get that carbide tip. Let's move this over a little, put it in the center. So you got the carbide tip, and you'll put that right in there on the threaded side into the hole. And then again, remember, it's always righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you turn it all the way, hand tight. And make sure if you're changing them, if you use these, make sure your entrances from the ones that popped out are clear. There's no sand in there. Uh, make your job easier. So. The equipment that you use is going to perform in the way it should perform. So, you know, sometimes it's a lot of human error. It's not always the equipment that's failing. Again, I get to the point of it's just about starting to tighten. And right there, it's tight. And you can see, I'm able to move that rubber. So that's when I say enough is enough. Take that off. Got two solid brand new replacement corkers on that. These I would recommend to anybody. You must use these guys. You're on jetties. You're on all kinds of dangerous areas. And uh, I hope this was a little educational for you guys. Uh, the corkers are very important. That's why I always bring them up. Uh, remember also Bill Wetzel. He will ask you if you have your corkers. Make sure you have your corkers if you call any type of guide and you're planning on doing any fishing on any rocks or jetties or even walking out onto rocks in the water. You got to be super careful so you can have a safe time and enjoy your time for many, many years to come. So thank you guys for watching again. Remember, subscribe to my channel at 1,000 subs, which I'm getting to very close. We're going to have that giveaway with the van stalls. Very excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going fishing tomorrow. I'll have on another video real soon. I'm always looking to do the right things for my subs. Uh, try to get you guys information, good videos. Again, talk about the products that I like. And again, on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, always on YouTube, always on YouTube, Mr. Poseidon live stream. We got on some great guests and always a giveaway on the Poseidon show. Ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Corkers, what you need. And remember, don't forget your corkers. Let's go. You can't be without these.